This early Connecticut Wooden Works clock also has stenciling on it, and you can see there that we could have used this to talk about stenciling, but I have this up here for another reason. There were literally hundreds of clockmakers soon after the time of uh, Eli Terry and Seth Thomas. It was the type of business that you could get into relatively inexpensively, and clockmakers started to turn out these wooden works movements, started to turn out cases, and in almost always they would uh, have these labels printed up which had their name in there and told you how great a clock it was. So this also makes it nice and easy for clock collectors because pretty much these types of clocks, if you open them up, you're going to find out who made the clock and what they thought about it. I mentioned that we'd be talking uh, about books a lot. Another excellent book for this subject, Early Amer um, American Clocks, American Clockmakers and Watchmakers. This book is just full of list after list of makers from all periods, but you certainly could find makers uh, of these from this time period in here with whatever information is known about when they worked, where they worked, uh, how long they were in business. Some of the other names from that period, which you might see if you open up one of these clocks at a uh, clock auction or a dealer shop, Mark Leavenworth, Silas Hoadley, Chauncey Ives, Ephraim Downs, Olcott Cheney, Rodney Brace, Augustus, uh, uh, let's see, Augustus Alfred, Spencer and, Spencer and Hotchkiss, all kinds of names that sound like they should have uh, been working in that era on clocks, and they were.